Welcome all you volleyball fans for another installment of Austin Town Fitch Volleyball and YSN Live Volleyball. As we are here in Austin Town Fitch for the first game of the season home opener and season opener for both the Austin Town Fitch Falcons and visiting in today, Perry. Facing off a year ago, Perry Panthers with the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. They played each other in a try match. Fitch got the better of that one 2 0. Two very different teams. Different looks. Seniors graduating from both sides. It's going to be a standard five set volleyball match today. Best of five, I should say. First at three. 25 points per set gets you the win with the exception of set number five. Perry will start off with possession. Sarah Moore. Sarah Moore last year had 58 aces to her credit. Team lead a year ago. Falcons have a little bit different look. Jordan with the swing. Nicely dug out. Counter swing now by Perry. Jocelyn Jordan a season ago as that one able to fall in. First points for the Falcons as dropping it in on one nothing Fitch. Jocelyn Jordan Last year against Perry, in the two sets that she played, came away with 14 kills, 40, 480 hit percentage, 56% kill percentage, too. The swing, getting a piece of it, allowing a setup for a swing, and that one goes too far. Perry responds on the hitting error, one to one. Picking up points. However they can. Emma Wyrich, another junior in this Panthers program. As her serve getting a piece of it, setting up for the swing. And again, the swing goes too long. Perry takes a 2-1 advantage. Swing coming from Avery Roscoe, one of the seniors on this squad. 2-1 in favor of Perry. Both points coming on some hitting errors. And Fitch now going to respond on a hitting error of Perry's own. 2-2 two, two to start. Jockeying for position, both these teams are to start off. Sarah Marr, Emma Wyridge, Brooke Janelli, Elaine Lawbacher, Jenna Petty, and Jasmine France that are all in starting for Perry. Nice swing by Jocelyn Jordan, and she's able to get the second touch off of the response. A nicely dug out by Perry, but Jordan finishes it off. Along Jocelyn Jordan, there's also Riley Simons, Jordan Smith, Julia Jordan, Avery Roscoe, and Afton Roby starting for Austin Town. And that one goes out on another serving error this time. But the points for Perry coming on errors from the Falcons. Brooke Janelli, block leader from a year ago, 53 blocks at the net. Trying to get the setup, find a good positioning on that hardwood. Couldn't find open space. It's the volley. Short-lived as finding some hardwood with the kill and the point and the lead, four to three. Afton Roby was a sophomore last year, got a lot of time coming off the bench, got some spot starts. She's starting today. 33 blocks for a year for a year ago as a sophomore. She really is going to help too with especially Jocelyn Jordan being that outside hitter. She's able to do things like that. Sneak in another kill. 5-3 Fitch, but having Afton Roby be a viable middle block too. It helps so much when you have height, too. The serve. As Perry. Jordan had to dig that one out, trying to find an open spot. Snuck it through a couple Panthers, but right there to the receiver it was more. The setup. The light swing. Soft touch on it from Afton Roby. Swing goes a bit too strong. Fitch gets awarded the point. Make it 6-3, Falcons. 
Falcons JV team came away victorious in two sets and a three set match against the Panthers JV team. Nice job that time as Sarah Moore. Moore had 844 assists a year ago, a staggering number, but having numbers like that allows you to be able to sneak in those type of points when defenses aren't staying on their toes. They're so prepared for you to set up one of those teammates and watching where that ball's going. Sometimes they're not prepared for it to come right back over the net. The set up, the swing, nicely dug out, but can't get a hold of it. Getting it over the net, nice job by the Panthers, keeping it alive. Jocelyn Jordan with another swing, a dive to keep it alive. The swing counterwise. That one hits the top of the net of the basketball hoop on the ceiling, drops in for a point, parries within one. Nice dig outs multiple times by the Panthers on some screaming liners from Jocelyn Jordan on the attack. The swing, the dig out, close to the net, Tried to go cross court with it. Jocelyn Jordan dug it out. Hit a barrel of Panthers, but ended up on the Falcons' side of the net. 6-6 six, six all here in set number one. Up to serve. It was Ella Seibert. And just kind of caught her. Hands tied, hits the ground, Fitch retakes the lead. Now with the serve, Austin Town. Nice serve, receive. Hits off the hands and keeping it alive. Panthers not panicking in these type of situations, just getting it over the net. Falcons set up, soft touch. Jocelyn Jordan finds the hardwood again. Eight to six. Initial serve, dug out by Hope Miller. Miller had 384 digs a year ago. Wow, Jocelyn Jordan able to get it over the net but couldn't keep it in bounds. Heck of a job just to get it and keep it in play. Perry back within one, back and forth we go here in set number one. Maddie Knopp, another one of those seniors in for the serve. The set up the swing. The point falls in. I believe it was Afton Roby that time. 9-7 Austin Town. Joe Jordan back to serve. Kind of tied her up at the hands. They're able to keep it in the air. Does parry. Fitch going to just need to get it over the net. The setup, the swing, soft touch right in between a couple of Falcons, bouncing off of them like a pinball machine. Ultimately finds the hardwood, and it's nine to eight. Hope Miller, Jr., libero in this contest. Serve received that time by Jordan. Miller digs out another one. They're gonna have to try to swing it. Couldn't get a ton on it. The fake on the setup couldn't get the point. Nicely read out by the Panthers. The setup, the swing, the kill. Finding some hardwood. Jordan Smith picks up the kill. 10 to eight. Year ago, Perry 16 and nine, including a seven and five record in that federal league. Federal League, obviously, very tough in multiple sports. Fitch last year, 21 and four. Eleven to eight. Nice swing to the back row, but it goes a bit too far. The error gives Fitch a point and a four-point lead. Falcons maintaining the serve, Afton Roby. 
Sixth in the rotation. Had to keep it alive at the net, just got it over. And that one tips off of the net and gives the Falcons another point as it falls in favor of Fitch. Nice serve, received this setup. Cross court swing, that's a beauty. For a kill, Perry. Well executed that time. And got themselves the serve back. Get themselves back within four. And to the top of the serving order and Sarah Moore. Ace leader for the team a year ago. First serve goes to Jocelyn Jordan. As Jordan couldn't get a clean serve receive on it. Perry picks up another. They're within three. Moore goes up with the swing as Jocelyn Jordan couldn't get a hold of it. Moore showing off why she's at the top of that serve order. Back within two is Perry. Delay, volleyball. Went to the concession stand, grab a drink maybe. 13 to 11, Austin Town leads in this first set. As Jordan elect to go with a two hand touch and back on track with a kill from Julia Jordan is Austin Town 14 to 11. Fourteen to eleven, Falcons back with the serve, top of the serving order. Riley Simons, a freshman, actually getting significant starting time here in the first game of the season. Did it fall in? They say no. Extends too far out. Point goes to Perry. Back within two. Emma Weirich. Now with the serve, making a couple of substitutions are the Panthers. Weirich's serve. Trying to set up for the kill. Snuffed it out, were the Panthers. Trying to go back row that time. Jocelyn Jordan had to dig it out. Nice job by the Falcons defense to respond, but blocking it out, trying to get the hands on it again. It does keep on the side of the Panthers. They get it across the net. One of the longest volleys we've seen from these teams. Goes too strong on the attack. The error puts the Panthers within one. Emma Weirich keeps the serve. Jordan digs it out, getting it over the net. Nice job by the libero that time and Miller. To the back row, saved out by Moore. The swing, tips off the net, falls in. No, they kept it alive, did Austin Town. Heck of a dig out. No, they're gonna award the point. I believe the point awarded late too. Didn't hear an immediate whistle blown. Nonetheless, it's 14-14 all. A game to 11. Weirich. The serve for the setup and Panthers now taking a lead here in the first. And a timeout being taken by Austin Town. Coach Bartlett wants to talk things over. We'll take a real quick timeout here as well. Be back right after this on YSNlive.com. When looking for home design inspiration, don't just be inspired, be Baird inspired. Whether new or remodeling, Baird Brothers has the latest trends like shiplap to refresh your home. Go from inspiration to installation with our wide selection of in-stock American hardwoods. From the rustic charm of antique oak to the warmth of traditional cherry, Baird Brothers has what you need to make your home inspiring. Baird Brothers, our family's heritage, your family's home.
WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists, located on South Avenue in Boardman. Right back here, Perry Panthers with the serve. Emma Weirich maintaining it with a lead for the Panthers. As Jocelyn Jordan got tied up on another great serve by the Panthers. They take a two-point advantage, 16 to 14 here in set number one. Trying to set up for a swing. Did it drop in? They're gonna say, yes it did, award the point. I think they say tipped off of one of the Panthers. Back within one is Austin Town giving them the serve. Perry with the advantage. Falcons looking to get back even. Served by Jordan Smith. And that time falls in for the Panthers as their swings doing a heck of a job of keeping it on the Austin Town side of the net. Within eight now are the Panthers. Up to serve, Brooke Janelli. Another junior in this program this year. A lot of players that got experience as sophomores. Nice kill by Jocelyn Jordan. Getting them right back in it emphatically. Back and forth this entire first set has been. Trying to set up, getting it over. Falcons set up for a swing. Jocelyn Jordan had it get tipped off the net. Lost a lot of steam off the swing. Just needing to save it to get it over. Austin Town going to need to set up defensively now as the swing from Perry tipped at the net. Setting up. Swing. Lackadaisical swing as it doesn't find the hardwood inbounds goes too long. Perry reclaims a two point advantage. Stepping in, Ellis Seibert. as avoiding it and the serve goes a bit too long. Nice volleyball IQ by the back row of Austin Town that time. Avoiding it, getting the serve back. Received by Miller, the swing. Jocelyn Jordan gets him right back in it with an emphatic swing. A game of seven. Set number one, oftentimes one of the most important sets. Both teams needing seven as Perry Panthers make it six. 19 to 18 the advantage for Perry. Maddie Knopp, one of the seniors steps in. Needing six points are the Panthers. Looking to close it out. The serve. Falcons looking to lock it down. Get themselves back into it. Don't want the Panthers to take too much of a commanding lead late. Jordan with the swing. It takes a long dive and not going to be able to recover it are the Panthers. Touching it last. It's a game of six. Remember though, if Perry and Austintown keep exchanging blows like this, you do have to win by at least two. So 24, 24, 25, 24, I should say, no good. We will keep going until we have someone by two. Nice job to dig it out by Austintown. 19, 19 all, setting up for a swing. Stays on the Perry side. Austintown retakes the lead. 20 to 19, set number one, best of five. Jocelyn Jordan 
was the one serving that one. Drops in, what a kill, keeping it in bounds. What a competitive first set out of the gates, 20 to 20 all. Hope Miller. The setup for the swing goes too long on it. No, they're saying tip point awarded to Austin Town. So a 21 20 lead for Austin Town. Critical because they also keep the serve. Trying to set up for offense. Perry. Gets a swing and a miss, whiff from the back row. Ties it back up at 21 apiece. Making a quick substitution, bringing in that height. And Elaine Lawbacher, freshman too. But provides some in that front row defensively. 21-21 all, a game of four. Perry with the serve. Nice dig out, but it hits out of bounds and a lead for the Panthers. 22 to 21 to start. Sarah Moore, top of the serve order. Falcons looking to get it back. Nicely done with a kill. Perfectly placed. What a back and forth contest this has been for only set number one. It's been like this the whole game. Not one team really getting more than a four point lead at any given time. Perry looking for the setup and the swing falls on the Austin Towns, or on the Perry side. Austin Town gets the point on the block. It looked like Julia Jordan that time got a hand on it. 23-22, Austin Town leads it, timeout, Perry. And with that, we'll take a timeout here, be back with the conclusion of set number one right after this. Right back here, 23-22, Fitch with the lead and the serve. And that initial serve, what a placement for an ace and a 24-2 lead. Heck of a placement on that serve, placing it where the Panthers weren't. And doing it again, back to back. Riley Simons, the freshman, with back-to-back -back serves to close it out. Set number one goes to Austin Town. Heck of a set number one. What a battle both ways, and what an ending as grabbing two aces to finish things out. Riley Simons, the freshman, gets the Falcons a set number one victory, 25-22. to 22. Take our quick break in between sets. We'll be back with the start of the second set right after this. How lucky are we to have not one, but two 18-hole Donald Ross Championship Golf Courses right here in our backyards. Mill Creek Golf Course was selected by Golf Week as one of America's 30 best municipal courses, continuing to challenge golfers of all levels and featuring golf instruction by PGA professionals, a state-of-the-art practice range, a PGA of America-recognized pro shop, kids' programs, and a relaxing grill room for a memorable golf experience. For more information or to schedule a tee time, visit millcreekmetroparks.org. You're here to be part of something bigger, to make things happen. For you, college is about knowledge being shared, and learning experiences that aren't limited to the classroom. On campus, you want to matter. It's about engaging every day, 
building relationships with students, with mentors, with the community, in the heart of a reinvented city. We are that something bigger. We are Youngstown State University and proud. You can see these players get to know these names, get to know these coaches at a more personal level than truly you ever did before. And I think YSN has been a big influential factor in bringing us that uh, level of personal connection that we haven't seen any other company truly be able to do. If my legacy goes down as being the voice of the Austin Town Fitch Falcons, I can hang my hat on that and be proud of it at the end of the day. My name is Ty Bartell and my sports network is your sports network. WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists, located on South Avenue in Boardman. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, Mill Creek Metro Parks is your park for all seasons. Make a memory in the park. Plan your visit today at millcreekmetroparks.org. Welcome back, everybody, to the start of set number two here in Austin Town Fitch High School. Fitch taking set 125 to As starting things off, Perry with that swing. Now Jocelyn Jordan able to swing and get it over top. Swing, was it in? No, a bit too long. Gets Fitch on the board, one nothing. As 3 0 Austin Town taking a lead on Perry. Keeping the serve. Panthers having trouble getting it over that time, getting Falcons up by four. That one drops in. <laughs> Nice save. <laughs> Five, nothing in favor of Austin Town. And what a start right now by the Falcons. And honestly, you look at what Riley Simons is doing serving wise, and it's incredible. Eight consecutive points 
since Simons has started serving, going back to that last set. Trying to keep it alive are the Panthers. They get a kill to get themselves on the board. Six to one, they get the serve back. Setting up for a swing, what a kill by Austin Town. Seven to one. As nice job by Perry to get it across the net, but another kill this time. Jocelyn Jordan drops in another one, and rolling is Austin Town here in set number two. And what, what a roll. Set two. As 38 seconds left in the timeout. And wise timeout, honestly, by the Panthers. Going down 9-1, still a game you can absolutely work yourselves back into. Starts one possession at a time. Keeping it alive, trying to find open hardwood. What a battle. And again, staying resilient are the Panthers. Trying to avoid any further deficit. They do so. As that one stays on the wrong side of the net for Austin Town. Nice job on the receive, the swing. Keeping it alive, Austin Town just needs to get it over. Try to set up defensively and couldn't set up in time. Brooke Janelli with a kill back within six. That one falls in. Austin Town gets the point, 10 to three. Ten to four, Perry with the serve, keeping it on that Austin Town side. Nice job on the net defense by the Panthers that time.
10 to five, Panthers get back within four now. Another serve by Perry, 10 to six. What a swing and a kill by Jocelyn Jordan. 11 to six. It's 11 to six. A setup and that one goes wild to the left. 12-6, Fitch leads it. And that one. Drops in for the Panthers on the air. And back within five is Perry. Twelve to seven, Perry trying to get back into it. Oh, what extension on that swing and another kill. Jocelyn Jordan adds up another one. Half a dozen, the lead stands. Nice receive that time to set up the swing. And again, Austin Town gets a little bit of help with the net that time. Looked like Afton Roby came up with the kill. Fifteen seven. Make it sixteen seven. Austin Town. Really just generating all sorts of momentum in this one. The setup for the swing, Jordan. Looking for it and just a bit too strong. Perry gets back within eight. Nice net defense gets Perry another point. They're back within seven. Nice swing, but Austin Town, the combination of Simons and Roby. Keep it on that side of the net with the block. Another setup for a swing off of the Panthers. Libero and Miller in a 17 to nine lead. Making a substitution real quick. Are the Panthers, Jenna Petty. Back in. Serve falls short for Austin Town. Gives Perry a point and the serve back. The score 17 to 10. And 
what a serve by Hope Miller. I want to talk about perfectly placed. She served that back far right corner of the court. Had some wicked motion moving from right to left. She tried to go down the line that time and Hope Miller giving Perry some hope in this one. Back within five are the Panthers, 17-12. Perry been chipping away, trying to get themselves back into this. Down in sets, one to nothing. First set went Austin Town's way, 25-22. And nice swing over the fingertips of the Panthers. Keeping it alive though, nice job by Irwin. And the hitting error puts Perry back within four. The nine point advantage, cut to four. Set up for a swing and that one just a bit too long and it's only within three. Perry driving back within the game, 17-14. Set number two, Austin Town up one nothing in sets. We'll be right back right after this. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money, stay close to home. Apply today by visiting kent.edu slash trumbull. WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth. Right back here, set number two, still up in the air. Three point advantage for Austin Town. Perry on a drive back though to make this even. They've gotten within two. Nice swing, but it stays out of bounds as it goes the way of the Panthers. They're back within one from 17-9 to 17-16. And the Panthers have just battled their way back to even on a heck of a run by Perry. Nine consecutive points, erasing a deficit. Panthers looking to get a set back after dropping that first one to Austin Town. And they just took a lead, 18 to 17. Now with the lead, 18-17. Nice kill, Austin Town. Puts a stop to it. And maybe halts the Panthers' momentum, at least for the time being. Eighteen, eighteen, all in a game of seven. Austin Town sets up for the strike. Nice block, putting it back on their side, but couldn't get the elevation on the second attack. Perry retakes the lead. Go, 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 go. 
19-18. Perry leading it. Jocelyn Jordan just always seems like she's good for a kill when you need it most. 19-19. Game of six, first to a half dozen. Perry couldn't get a good enough setup on that time. The setup actually it looked like maybe a little bit of miscommunication between the setup and the strike, just had their timing off. It's game one of the season, it's the first week. You don't pay too much attention to that, that's just gonna happen. 20 to 19, nicely dropping in on a response point from Perry. Game of five. Twenty to twenty. Getting it over the net. Allows Perry though to set up for a strike. Nice dig out. The setup, the swing, the kill. Jocelyn Jordan. One point advantage, Austin Town, 21-20. Close ending to set number one. Looks like we're in store for yet another here in set number two. Nice block at the net. Perry goes scrambling. They set up real nicely, though, to get themselves a good swing. Austin Town now setting up for another swing. Jocelyn Jordan has it go just wide right. And that hitting error puts Perry back within four and back even with Austin Town. Game of four. Win by two. Set two. Austin Town up one nothing in sets. And that serve doesn't go the way of Perry as Austin Town gets the point and the ball back as Binion back to serve for the Falcons. And nice defense by Austin Town on the net. 23-21, two point advantage and wise timeout being taken now by Perry wanting to talk things over. With that timeout, we'll take one as well. Be back with the conclusion of set number two after this. Austin Town up 23-21. We'll be right back. Look at storm season. I think we're under the gun for some heavy storms over the next couple of hours. And Storm Tracker 21 is ready. This is probably the one we're keeping a closer eye on. On air. And locally, we're going to have a lot of eyes on our area. Online. All right, let's talk high-risk future cast and the timing of this weather. On social media and on our app. Rain will come and go tomorrow. There'll be some dry intervals. Stay ready with Storm Tracker 21. The severe weather threat now through around sunset this evening. Twenty-three, twenty-two. Austin Towns. Jordan Binion with the serve, and that hit goes off of the hands of the Falcons. Gives Perry the point. Gives Perry the serve. <laughs> Trailing. Twenty-three, twenty-two. But key in that Perry gets the serve back. Making some substitutions are the Falcons. as well as Perry. Olivia Irwin, Jr. subbing in to serve, trailing by one. Getting it to that back row. The setup for a swing, Jocelyn Jordan didn't put as much on at that time. This time goes to the back row, falls a bit too strong. Falcons are a point away. Back against the wall time for Perry. Trailing by three. Next point wins it for Austin Town. They have to fight off this one. 
The serve is going to be from Jocelyn Jordan. Miller digs it out. The setup for the swing, the kill. And at perfect timing, the senior, Maddie Knopp, comes through for the Panthers. Makes it a one-point game. If Perry can score here, they can fight off elimination. It is win by two. A setup on a swing. The game winner falls in, and Austin Town takes another close set off of the Panthers as a final here, 25 to 23. Even closer than the last one. Perry brought this one back at one point down, 17 to nine to tie and eventually even take the lead at one point. Austin Town now up two sets to none overall. The next set they win, wins them the whole match. Perry looking to fight it off. Set number three coming up right after this on YSNLive.com. Hi, I want to tell you about my Trisha Yearwood Home Collection available at Sheely's Furniture. With two locations serving Ohio and Pennsylvania, Sheely's is one of the country's top sellers of my home collection. And the best part? At Sheely's, you never have to wait for a sale. They offer everyday low pricing as well as a price match guarantee. So you can shop the Trisha Yearwood Home Collection with confidence. Come see my collection with something to offer for every room in your home and get it all with free local delivery only at Sheely's Furniture. They say American craftsmanship is making a comeback. Of course, at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, it never went away. People are floored by Baird Brothers' authentic hardwood floors. They stare at our stairs and adore our doors. Baird Brothers reflects three generations of family craftsmanship. Visit our huge in-stock selection in person or at BairdBrothers.com. Baird Brothers, our family's heritage, your family's home. Every customer has a story, and at Greenwood Chevrolet, we are committed to making sure it ends with you in the right vehicle. I get to be part of somebody's adventure, whether it's buying a car for the first time, helping them get approved, or finding the perfect car for their budget. I'm proud that people trust me with their finances. They trust me to take care of them, and they trust me with their story. I'm Tracy, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Welcome back everybody to set number three here in this best of five set match between the Austin Town Fitch Falcons and the Maslin Perry Panthers. As Perry trailing two sets to nothing at Austin Town. Both close set matches or set finals, I should say, final scores. 25-22, Austin Town winning set one, 25-23, Austin Town winning set. Number two, trying to fight off the loss overall in the match is Perry. They need a set win here in number three. Sarah Moore leads it off with the serve for the Panthers. Austin Town trying to get a good swing, nicely dug out by Miller. Jocelyn Jordan able to get a hold of it. Light touch on the hit from Julia Jordan. Goes to the back row, dug out, setting up a swing. Jocelyn Jordan. Didn't put a ton on it that time, just got it over the net. The big swing, the lead, first point scored by the Panthers. Sarah Moore. Sarah. 
That one goes wayward out. Moore, over 50 aces a year ago. That's why she's at the top of that serve order. Big player in this one so far, Jocelyn Jordan. 405 kills a year ago. Jocelyn Jordan had 14 in two sets against Perry in a three set try match. She's definitely done a ton of work here to this point, but Perry grabbing a hold of a three, nothing advantage to start. Sarah Moore trying to put Perry in front with a commanding lead. Whistle was blown. It came from the official at the net. Point awarded to Austin Town. 3 1. Austin Town with the serve, and Riley Simons. The one who gets it over, but stays out of bounds, just trying to get it over the net that time, or the Panthers trying to save it. Couldn't keep it in bounds. 3 to 2. The serve from Simons. A setup for a swing. Got in between the blockers, but a nice dig out. That time from Austin Town and great net defense. Forces a point, forces a tie. Three to three all here in set number three. As Miller dug it out. What a swing coming from that right side for a kill and getting that kill. Emma Weirich puts Perry back in front, four to three. Weirich just got the kill. She'll go back for the serve. Oh, the setup for the swing and tried to get a block, but it just bounced off of a couple of Perry's up. Perry Panthers up at the uh, net there. Working it over, Jocelyn Jordan. The setup for the swing, that was a nice swing applied by Knopp, one of the seniors. Dug out by Wyrich, the swing on the opposite side, it drops in for Perry. Trying to avoid droughts. It was one part that really hurt the Panthers in that second set. Janelli for the serve. The setup for the swing and couldn't do the soft touch that she was looking for. And Jocelyn Jordan with that attempt. Double touch. Six four Perry, Janelli again with the serve. A setup and Janelli digs it out nicely on a sky ball, a swing off the blocker's hands, keeping it alive on two hits. Austin Town gets it over, just trying to get it over the net for the setup, missing the swing. The point goes to Austin Town. Back within one is Fitch. They have the serve. and trying to dig it out, but couldn't get enough on it. Allows the Falcons to tie it up at six. And kind of got caught up in between. The Panthers did, deciding between Lawbacher and Moore. Here 
You have freshmen that come into the starting rotation. Sometimes it's a little bit of an adjustment too, especially when you're talking first week of the regular season. Nice swing. Grabbing the kill, grabbing a tie game again is the Panthers. Ella Seibert. The serve attempt. Whistle blown. And it looked like a lift is what the one official called. Point and lead goes to Perry. Nice swing, nice kill. Austin Town picks one up. Avery Roscoe ties the ball game up at eight. Initial serve for a setup and swing. Went to go cross court with it, but couldn't keep it in the bounds as Fitch. Nine eight advantage, the serve. The swing. Nice dig out on the save that time. Trying to save it again, but couldn't quite do so. Her momentum was taking her to the right was Hope Miller. Tried to recover and get back to the left. Too much velocity on the return from that volleyball. Went back for the swing. Did Knopp. Knopp was one of the top kill getters that are returning this season, 143 a year ago. 10-8 Austin Town leads, 2-0 in sets as well. Trying to finish off the match and it can't drop any more perfectly than it did for Austin Town right in front of that net, 11-8. As that one hits the net, didn't get enough on it, but they do recover, does the Panthers. <laughs> Jocelyn Jordan. <laughs> Joe Jordan has, I think, the same instinct any of us have if we ever play the sport of volleyball. If you at first hit it with your hand and it doesn't go over, you can just try anything you can. Flailing legs, arms, head at it, trying to just get it over the net. Not going to be a point anyway, but just getting it over the net was the main goal. A setup for a swing and a nice block by Perry. Couldn't put a strong swing on it. Allowed Perry to set up. Nicely dug out, though, by Jordan Smith. Jordan Smith played a ton on this JV team last year, and she's been getting a ton of playing time. Not only in the summer, too, getting a lot of work, but you figured a starting spot might be here for her if she worked for it, and she certainly has. 12-9 to nine with the serve. Jocelyn Jordan. Nice kill that time, and it looked like Weirich again. The junior Weirich has been stepping up big in this set with some key kills. Keeping the Panthers close, it's 12 to 10. As battling around, Panthers trying to keep it alive. Nice job by Austin Town setting up for a swing. Can't get it over the net, Austin Town takes another point. 13 to 10, off the tip. A lot of Jordans you see on this Austin Town team. Jocelyn Jordan, Julia Jordan, Jordan Smith. A 
A swing, keeping it in. No, they say it goes too long. Point goes to Austin Town. Back to serve. Sierra Cable, one of the liberos on this squad. 14-10, Austin Town leads it in the set. 14 to 11 now as Perry gets up and gets one back. 25-22, set number one final in favor of Fitch. 25-23, set number two final again in favor of Fitch. This is a game set for Austin Town for Perry trying to just get it to set number four. Fourteen to eleven, a setup for a swing, nice block, setting up for another swing. Jordan Smith that time able to get a hand on it, tried to read it and put a well placed dive, but it drops in front of the Falcons. Fourteen twelve, Perry back within it, but this is a Perry team that hasn't stopped battling since set number one. And a nice serve again by the Panthers. Gets them back within one. 14-13, Austin Town in front. Sarah Moore, back to the top of the serve order. Also a heck of a setter with some fantastic numbers a year ago for Perry. On the swing! A tie game at 14 apiece. More. Joe. Oh my goodness. Jordan Smith. An emphatic kill that time, reclaiming a lead for Austin Town. And it seems like it's been a running theme on this match here today that any time the game has gotten closer, Perry seems to be generating momentum. Austintown's been able to get that kill at the right time to take it back. Perry, though, has been full of responses the whole day, and there's nothing short of it here in set number three. A game of 10, 15 to 15. Emma Wyrich. Nice job by Wyrich coming in from that back row to get adequate defense on it. No one's going to get it for Austin Town. Perry retakes the lead 16 to 15. Emma Wyrich to serve again. Now in front are the Panthers. A setup for a swing, but it goes too long. Perry with the advantage, 17 to 15. Wyrich with the lead. Panthers trying to keep it alive. Another hit, can't get it across the net, but what effort by Perry. It gives Austin Town a chance to tie it as they get the serve back within one. Setting up for a swing, Jocelyn Jordan nicely dug out by Hope Miller. And keeping it, defense at the net. Gets Perry their two point advantage back. 18 to 16 here in set number three. Brooke Janelli up to serve. Fitch with a couple of setups and a kill to come from it. 
back within one. What competitive sets we've seen in the first two and this one. Been nothing short of just great volleyball back and forth. Competitive the whole way through. Off of the net, back within two. Perry Panthers. Needing six to fight off the match loss and force a set four. Back with the serve, checking in. Ella Seibert. In to serve. As just needing to get it over the net, Austintown was able to do so. It's set up on the swing, and it's in for a kill. Jocelyn Jordan back within one. Perry has been trying to extend that lead past two. Austintown coming up with the responses to force it. Looking for a tie game. Perry looking to reclaim their lead. The swing goes too strong. It's a game of six. Nice dig out. A setup for a swing. Jocelyn Jordan has it bat off of one of the Panthers' arms and a lead for Austin Town, 20 to 19. As dropping it in, tie game again. Nice defense. As Sarah Moore doesn't stop fighting. Maddie Knopp now one of the seniors checking in to serve. Game of five. A setup. Light hit over. Allows Perry to set up for a swing. And it goes the way of the Panthers off of Austin Town. A one point advantage again for Perry. As Jocelyn Jordan had that one blocked right back to the Austin Town side of the net. Off the hands, the setup for a swing. Nice job by Hope Miller to dig it out. Swinging again is Perry. The setup on the other side, Austin Town gets it to Jocelyn Jordan, who emphatically finds the hardwood. It's a four point game. Twenty-one, twenty-one all. Austin Town up two sets to none. Both closing in on it, trying to set up for a swing. Nice job, Afton Roby. With the block, giving the Falcons a lead and a timeout being called by the Panthers. With that timeout, we'll also take one. Be back right after this. Ty Bartell, YSNlive.com. Don't go anywhere. Jimmy Sudman here, director of Isle, Purple Cat, and Golden String. We are happy to support YSN and two of my favorite people, Scotty Mincher and Super Dave O'Malley. We are an agency that provides services for adults with disabilities. We infuse humor, passion, and joy into their lives. If you know of any folks with disabilities that need our assistance, please contact us. WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists, located on South Avenue in Boardman.
Right back here, another close one for you. Set three, 22-21, Austintown leads it. Two nothing in the sets as well in favor of Austintown. Looking to put the finishing touches on a match when Perry looking to fight it off. The swing goes long off of the hands of the Panthers. Jordan Smith swung it for Austintown. Gave him a 23 to 21 lead. Trying to set up for a swing. Nicely dug out. It got stuck in the rafters. Austintown just needs to get it over. Set up defensively. The swing goes out of bounds and Austintown within one of victory. Timeout being called too as this will be the final timeout for us as well here for the set at least. We'll be back right after this. Hi, this is Zell Bush. Hi, this is Tom Clint. Hi, this is Steve Rossetto. Hi, this is Ryan Miller. Hi, this is Rich Sakui from WRS Wealth Advisors. With our combined 80 years of experience, WRS Wealth Advisors are the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. Call 330-965-0370 to learn more about our individual and corporate financial planning services. Or visit wrswealth.com. Go Raiders. Go Dawg. Go Cats. Go Dogs. Go Tigers. Right back here. Potential game point for Austin Town. Perry trying to fight it off. Setting up for a swing. Jordan Smith couldn't really get enough under it. Perry gets a point and a chance. Hope Miller. Down 24-22 are the Panthers looking for a point. Hope Miller. Serve dug out. The setup for a swing. Nicely blocked by Perry, but it falls on the side of the Panthers. Or on the, it's going to be a victory in three sets, straight sets for Austin Town as they finish this one by a final score of 25 to 22. Heck of a game all the way throughout as the Austin Town Fitch Falcons will go 1 and 0 to start their season against Perry as the Panthers on the opposing end will fall to 0 and 1 on the year as we look ahead to for the rest of the season for Fitch Volleyball just to look at their next matchup too both their next matchup overall and their next home matchup you won't have to wait too too long as they will be back here on Tuesday August 30th so 10 days away they're going to have an away matchup trio of away matchups Hathaway Brown Harding and Lakeview all on the road. That's the 23rd, 25th, 27th, but Hathaway Brown is next at Hathaway Brown Tuesday, the 23rd. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and watching this broadcast of YSN Live Volleyball to our proud owners, both DJ Yokely and Brian Scott, who are able to bring this game to each and every person unable to make it in attendance tonight. To our GM, Steve Leslie, who with his work with Bob Zean Park Baseball, YSU Football, and YSNLive.com. We couldn't thank him enough for what he does for not only us, but the entire valley and surrounding areas. So we thank you, Steve. And most importantly to all of you who tuned in and helped support these kids, schools, and communities, you guys are really and truly what YSN Live is all about. And so we thank you. If you are tuning in from the Maslin Perry area, supporting your Panthers and getting your first taste of YSN Live, we'd like to welcome you in. Hope you enjoyed the ride and say thank you for your support. If you're right here in Austin Town supporting your Falcons like you do each and every game out, We'd like to always thank you for your support and continued support of not only Austin Town Fitch, but YSNLive.com. This is Ty Bartell bidding you all a farewell and a good night, everybody. YSN thanks you for watching this presentation of your sports network. For stories, stats, and more, go to YSNLive.com.